Hey, this is Ed Herzog, and welcome to the second part of my video, 20 Reasons to Buy Elementor Pro. Now, if you haven't seen the first video yet, I encourage you to watch that before you watch this video. I'll put a link to the first video in the description here. In that video, I go over the first 10 reasons to buy Elementor Pro. In this video, I'm going to go over reasons 11 through 20. Then I'm going to give you two bonus reasons. And in my opinion, those bonus reasons are as important as the other reasons. So make sure you watch the full video so you also see those two bonus reasons. I also encourage you, if you decide to buy Elementor Pro based on these videos, based on my 20 reasons to buy Elementor Pro, I do appreciate it if you buy Elementor Pro via my affiliate link, which I'll put in the video description as well. So reason number 11 to buy Elementor Pro is customer support. Now think about this for a second. If you only have a free version and you run into a problem, if you run into some technical issue or there's something you want to do and you can't figure out how to do it, where are you going to go for help? Now, there are free Facebook groups where you can go and you can ask questions. And the people in those Facebook groups are very, very helpful. I've gotten some help from them in those groups. But they're not, you know, they're not responsible for actually responding to your questions. You may or may not get an answer. You may or may not get an answer that, uh, solves your problem. And that's happened to me. There have been one or two occasions where I've gone to one of those groups and I've asked a question and nobody knew the answer. And so then I went to Elementor Support and I did get an answer that solved the problem. The people who run Elementor Support, it's their job to help you. It's their job to answer your questions. They are the experts on Elementor. So if you have issues or problems, why not go to customer support? But again, you only have customer support if you have Elementor Pro. So that's reason number 11 to upgrade to Elementor Pro. Reason number 12 is you can add custom CSS to your website. Now, Elementor, you can do a lot of fantastic things with Elementor without custom CSS. Okay, there's obviously a lot of amazing features to Elementor, whether you've got the free version or the pro version. There's just a lot you can do. But every once in a while, I know that I run into something that I can't solve, that I can't do, unless I add in custom CSS. You can only do that if you have the pro version. And you can do that in lots of different places. For example, here on the page settings, if you go over to advanced, you can add custom CSS that affects the whole page. Or you can do it for an individual widget. If I come over here to this, to this header and come over here, here to advanced, again, I can add custom CSS just to this header. I could do it to a column. I can come over here, again, column advanced, and I can add custom CSS. Or I could do it to, to an entire section. Again, going to advanced, and then going to custom CSS. So that's reason number 12 to upgrade, to buy Elementor Pro, so you can add custom CSS to your website. Reason number 13 is that you can have access to motion effects and sticky elements. Now, I've got two separate videos on those. I've got one that covers all the different motion effects, and I've got a specific one that looks at sticky sidebars. But let me just show you an example here. I've got a sticky header right here on my website. So I scroll down, you can see the sticky header stays in place. It's a great way to get the attention of your website visitors by having things like sticky, sticky headers, or maybe a sticky sidebar on your blog. You know, So a sidebar over here that scrolls as a person scrolls down and reads your blog post. Again, a great way to capture the attention of website visitors. Or you can have motion effects, you can have mouse effects, you can have pictures that move. Uh, all sorts of different ways you can capture the attention of your website vidder, visitors that are only available if you have an Elementor Pro. So sticky elements, motion effects, mouse effects, it's reason number 13 to buy Elementor Pro. Reason 14 is so you can add custom fonts. Now, a lot of us use Google Fonts, and Google Fonts are amazing. It's tons and tons, you know, dozens, hundreds, yeah, I think up to a thousand options. But I know, you know, a lot of times I've got here this font, uh, what font here? You know, I can go to a website and find out what font they're using. And a lot of times it's a font that's not in Google Fonts. Well, you know, if you find a font you want to use, or if you're building a, uh, building a website for a client, and maybe they have a font they want you to use on their website, and it's not a Google Font, well, the only way to do that is to come here, go to Elementor Custom Fonts, and then wait a couple seconds, and then you can add a new font. Again, that's only available 
if you have the pro version of Elementor. So that's reason number 14, to upgrade our custom fonts. Reason 15, somewhat similar, our custom icons. Again, it's right here under Elementor. You go to custom icons, and you can add custom icons. Again, Elementor itself has a wide range of icons. You may not need this feature, but it may be a feature that you find useful, particularly if you design websites for other people. You know, they may have particular icons that they want you to add to their website. Uh, you can have this feature if you have Elementor Pro, but if you've got the free version, you know, you're limited to the icons that are available in Elementor in the free version. Reason 16 for upgrading to Elementor Pro is Role Manager. Again, right here under Elementor, you go to Role Manager, and you can manage what your users can edit out Elementor. Again, this is a great feature if you design websites for other people. You've got right here, you go, for example, the editor. You can put either no access to editor or access to edit content only. You go through and do this for every single person who has access to a website. Again, you don't want people messing up your website, but if you're designing websites for other people who are later going to have access to the back end of WordPress. So, you know, this is a great limit who can have access and who can do what within Elementor. Again, this is a pro feature. This is reason number 16 to upgrade to Elementor Pro. Reason 17 are action links. Again, I've got a separate video in which I go, in which I go over action links. It's a really awesome feature. So what are action links? I'll just tell you really briefly in case you haven't seen my other video. Action links are particular links you can add to, for example, a button here, this button up here, my YouTube button, or it could be this uh, this button here. It could be, you know, anywhere you can add a link, uh, you can put an action link in. And what it does, for example, there are a lot of different options. You can have the link trigger a phone call. So if somebody clicks on that link and it gives them the option to call you directly. It could send an SMS to you. It could send an email to you. It could connect with you on Skype. Uh, you could have the button connect with uh, connect to you via WhatsApp or via Viber. You can add events. You can uh, trigger adding events to your website visitors' calendars. Uh, there's one other, and I'm oh, it can also add direction. So you know you connect it to Waze, and people can get directions to your physical office building. So again, a lot of kind of great click options that trigger events on your website. It's a very interactive feature, getting pe people to take action on our website so they can contact you, so they come come to your business, so they can come to your events. Uh, it's an amazing feature, and it's only available in Pro. So action links are reason number 17 to buy Elementor Pro. Reason 18, and now I'm getting a little outside my own knowledge area. I'll admit that. You know, some of these, these last couple of reasons aren't reasons I've used, but I know that some people really find them valuable and they are only available in Pro. So reason 18 are request parameters. So let me give you an example. There are a few different ways uh, this could be set up. One way is, uh, sorry, I thought I had this ready and I did not. I apologize. I'm going to go over here to my contact me page. Sorry, bear with me for a second. I said this in the first video. I normally like to have everything set up before I start the video, but every once in a while I forget something. So uh, here we go. So this is an example. Okay, I've got this contact form here. Now, how, what do request parameters do? Let's say you send an email to people, and you in that email you say, "Hey, come over to my website," and uh, you know, let's say you're I don't know an insurance salesman. You know, click on this link to get a free quote for your car insurance or a free quote for your health insurance, or maybe you're a real estate agent, you know, uh, and you want people to come over and fill out a form to get more information about your real estate services, whatever it is. So you send them an email, they come out and you, and you have these request parameters set up in the, in what you're sending them via the email. So when they come over, they click on that link, they come over to this form here and it's already got their name and their email added in. That's what request parameters do. It could also be something like on a thank you page. They sign up and the thank you page is personalized. It says, you know, in my case, thank you, Ed Herzog. In your case, I don't know what your name is, but it will say thank you, whatever your name is. That's a sort of personalization that you can do using request parameters. Okay, it's a really neat feature that again increases engagement, it makes people feel special, it makes people feel like, hey, I'm not just like one of a thousand people on this person's list. Uh, this person actually cares about me. 
Um, and again, this is a feature that is only available in Elementor Pro. So request parameters are reason number 18 to upgrade to Elementor Pro. Reason 19, this is way beyond my knowledge level, are custom fields, allowing you to integrate with things like ACF and pause. I have not used that feature myself. If you are familiar with those, that may resonate with you. If you're not, I'm not going to be the person to explain that to you. I will admit that. Um, it's something I still need to learn myself. It's not a feature I personally need to use, but I know it's a feature a lot of people were very excited about when, uh, when Elementor came out with it. Um, you know, the ability to integrate, integrate Elementor with custom fields, with ACF, with pods, and similar, uh, similar plugins. And that is only a pro feature. So that is reason number 19 to upgrade to Elementor Pro. Reason 20, again, it's not a feature I've used. It's not one that I'm particularly familiar with, so I can only describe to you what it is. But this would be using custom post types. So we'd be using post types like, um, sorry, I'm looking at my paper here, looking at my notes, testimonials, events, portfolios, reviews, movie sites. If you need to use those sort of post types, then Elementor Pro is what you need to use. You don't have custom post types in the free version of Elementor. So that's reason 20 to upgrade to Elementor Pro. Now I'm going to give you two bonus reasons. And as I said at the beginning of this video, I think these bonus reasons in many ways are just as important as the free reason, or as, the, as their initial 20 reasons. First of all, let's take a look at the pricing on Elementor Pro. To me, the price on Elementor Pro is amazing. This is a bargain. $49 a year for one site, $99 a year for three sites, $1, or $199 a year for 1,000 sites. It comes with all the features I've just mentioned to you. You get upgrades for a full year. You know, you obviously get upgrades, you know, as long as you keep renewing your license, you get upgrades continually, but if you only do it for one year, you get a full year worth of upgrades. And every single plan comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. So if you're not satisfied, you know, you can make this purchase. You have 30 days to decide, you know what, this didn't work for me. This isn't what I want. Um, it's an amazing deal. I mean, $49, it's $4 a month. You know, I, I hate the kind of you know, putting everything in the price of Starbucks coffee, but it's, it, you know, I'll do it because it's something, it's like a currency people understand. I mean, $4 a month, it's one Starbucks coffee a month. Um, this year, $99 a month for three sites, it's, it's about three Starbucks coffees a month, less than one a week, okay? And this one here, I mean, if you're buying the expert, you're probably designing sites for other people and you ought to be able to, you know, you're hopefully charging more than $199 per site. And you can use this for up to a thousand sites. So you should be able to make your money back in no time at all using this one here. So that to me is reason number 21 to buy Elementor Pro. It's, it's a bargain. And you don't know, I mean, right now their prices, you know, they've been around for a couple of years. They really haven't, as far as I know, they have not raised their prices. But they could raise their prices at any point. Um, we don't know. That's a decision they have to make. Uh, it's not something we have any sort of knowledge of, any sort of privy to their, you know, behind the scenes, what they're doing. Um, if it was me, I'd buy it right now at this price. I did buy it. In fact, I bought it when it first came out, when I got a 50% off discount. Uh, but I would pay these prices. Absolutely. Um, you know, this is an absolute total bargain. So to me, that's reason number 21 is it's a great pricing model. It's so inexpensive. Okay. And now reason number 22 or reason, bonus reason number two. Think about what happens when you buy Elementor Pro. Where does your money go? Your money goes to support the continued existence and continued development of Elementor. So if you're just using the free version, you know, you're not really supporting the tool. You know, you still get updates, you still get some, you know, you're, you're getting free features, you're getting, you know, some bug fixes. But all that is happening because of other people paying for uh, paying for the service. Okay, so when you pay for it, you know they have more money to do even more amazing things. We've already seen uh, that elements are going to do amazing things. I mean, the way that they have come about uh, in terms of their kind of conceptualization of what can be done with WordPress is, you know, they are the front runners. Everybody else is falling behind them. Well, you know, if you buy Elementor Pro allows them to stay even further ahead of the pack. They're going to come out with more features, more uh, just amazing things are going to blow our mind. 
And so, you know, that to me is bonus reason number two or reason, if you want to call it reason number 22 is, you know, your money goes to support a tool that, you know, if you're using the free version right now, you know it's a great tool, right? And so your money goes to make an even better tool. Um, so why not support this tool? I had, you know, when I, when it, again, when it first came out, I bought it. It was a no-brainer. I said, absolutely. Not only do I want these features, I want to support this tool. I want to make Elementor even better than it is right now. So, so there you go. You've got 20 reasons by Elementor Pro. You've got two bonus reasons. And, you know, again, if you decide to buy Elementor Pro based on anything I've said in this video, I will put my affiliate link in the video description. I do appreciate it when people buy, uh, buy Elementor that way. I want to keep all my content free, whether it's uh, videos like this or whether it's Elementor tutorials. Um, and by buying the, my affiliate link, that helps me keep everything free. Um, also, subscribe to my channel. You know, I've got tutorials on some of these uh, features already. I will continue to release new tutorials, one, two, or three a week. And uh, what else? Subscribe. If you've got comments or questions, let me know. Um, you know, I will do my best to answer questions. I like to answer questions. Uh, I like interacting with people. And so if I, even if I don't know the answer off the top of my head, I will look for it for you. I will do my best to find an answer for you. So, um, so that's it. I hope this video really helped you, helped you, hope you find it useful. And that's it. Have a great day. Bye.